Ella Balassa has a serious lung infection and antibiotics have quit working. It's just really gotten worse and now I'm eating oxygen all the time. I've been on IV antibiotics for now four weeks and I just feel as sick as when it started. The 26 year old has cystic fibrosis, which causes thick mucus in her airways that has trapped dangerous bacteria. Desperate for relief, Balasa recently started a dramatic experiment using one germ to fight another germ. In this case, inhaling a virus to attack her superbug. With antibiotic resistant infections becoming a global emergency, scientists are racing to find alternatives. All indicators seem to point to the fact that this is going to get worse and worse. There are some subpopulations of people, some demographic groups, for which this is a particularly serious issue. Phage therapy is one of the alternatives being looked at closely. It's been around for a century, but got pushed aside when the easier to use antibiotics came along. The discovery of a super penicillin. It uses viruses called bacteriophages to infect and break down specific bacteria. Biologist Benjamin Chan of Yale University has been traveling the world collecting phages from places like ditches, ponds, and even sewage treatment plants. The best places are often really dirty places because we're dirty animals and so like the sewage is is great. Because each phage only recognizes certain bacteria, it shouldn't kill off the good bugs in the digestive tract like antibiotics do. We're not like burning the, the whole population, we're just finding the bad ones ideally and, and killing those. There is still little known about the efficacy of phages and formal studies are just being planned to try to prove their value. There's an incredible opportunity here uh, but with that, you have to have the appropriate amount of skepticism and rigorous science. Balasa recently became Yale's eighth phage therapy patient. She's now completed two rounds of treatment, inhaling billions of phages over several days. I really hope that it can help get my infection under control um, to a point where I won't need even any sort of antibiotics for maybe a couple of months stretch. Um, that would be amazing. Early tests suggest phages killed much of Balassa's predominant infection and made the survivor susceptible to antibiotics again. Balassa says the true test will be how long she can go without using any antibiotics. Krista Fourier, Associated Press.